Hello guys, welcome to Bing Engineers. In this video, I will tell you how to make your own PCB that is our Arduino Uno and the previous video in part 1 of this series, I have told you how to make your own Arduino Uno in a breadboard. So this is the second part and in this video, we will be making the actual PCB. So first of all, I will be making the layout in a strip board. So for this, I will be using a software called Fritzing. Later on, I will be following this PCB layout to make the actual thing in a breadboard and that will be accurate and no mistakes will be done because I have already have the layout that I will be making here. So this is the final PCB that is made from this layout and you can see the whole parts in there. Both the layout and the PCB almost looks similar except some components which is not available in Fritzing. So just like the DC adapter is not available there so I have changed it with the terminal block. In original PCB there is the DC adapter. This is the main IC. That is the Atmega T28P IC. This is the same IC that I used in a previous video and that came out from Arduino Uno and the blink sketch is already uploaded there with a delete modification. I have changed the delay from 1 second to 0.1 second. This is the LED that is connected to pin 13 just like in Arduino Uno and it is connected with the 100 ohm register that will be a current limiting register in this case and this green wire is connected to pin 13. Now you can see the GPIO pins there, all there are GPIO pins, there are 5 here and down there there are 4 GPIO pins, up there there are 6 analog pins and you can see I have connected both the male and female headers in parallel because most of the time when, I be, when we will be using jumpers we face problem with the male and female pin so if both the male and female headers are present in the variable it makes the life easier now this is a DC adapter for powering you can connect a battery with a DC adapter or you can connect a 12 volt DC adapter anything and it will be going to this voltage regulator IC so this regulator IC is 7805 voltage regulator IC that is there in the layout also and there are two capacitors connected in the in part and the out part to suppress the AC component present in the adapter output and the 7805 voltage regulator will convert the input voltage to 5 volt output but keep in mind that the input voltage should be greater than 6.5 volt otherwise the output voltage will not be 5 volt anymore in the upper part of this voltage regulator you can see the power rails at first in the left there are the power rails for V-in that means whenever you connect a DC adapter in the DC female jack the same voltage you can get that from there and the next four pins are the ground pins and at the extreme right the pins are for 5 volt whenever I need 2 or 3 5 volts I need to pick out the 5 volt from the Arduino again come put it in a breadboard again sort those things and it gets very messy so if you have this kind of connectors in your variable that helps and these whole things will look more clean and clear again you can make a 3.3 volt power by connecting a voltage divider circuit in, your, in this breadboard I'll be doing it later these two wires in red and black are the powers of this IC the upper two wires are for the analog VCC and ground and the lower two are for the actual pin number 7 and 8 that is the original VCC and ground of this IC. This is the reset button, a simple push button that is connected to pin 1 and pin 1 is again connected to a 10k register to 5 volt that will be a pull up register 
and the other side of the push button is connected to ground in normal case the pin 1 will be connected to 5 volt but when you press the push button it will be low and the IC will be reset this 3mm red LED is a power LED and you can see if the board is on or off by this LED and this LED is also connected with the current limiting resistor of 100 ohm you can see the crystal oscillator is connected to pin 9 and 10 that is a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator you can also see that in the layout also this crystal oscillator is connected to pin 9 and 10 and these capacitors are of 22 picofarad ceramic capacitors that is connected from pin 9 and 10 both to ground this ceramic capacitor of 100 nanofarad also used to suppress the ac component present in the dc voltage it is a very safety precaution nothing else you can skip this part also in the top right corner of the board you can see six pins so these are the six pins that is required for the isp device to communicate with this ic these pins will be required to program the ic on board on this board itself by using a usb asp device or a different arduino i will show how to program this ic in this board itself without removing the ic in the next video that is a part 3 of this series from the button side you can see the pcb is looking like this and there are a lot of soldering work it took me 2 to 3 hours of soldering to complete this pcb and in the first try it was running successfully there was no short and no troubleshooting was required so now why we need this PCB? We have Arduino Uno, you can buy it. We need this PCB because Arduino Uno will be costing 800 to 1000 rupees or 10 dollar to 15 dollars in US. So, but this IC, this PCB will cost you around 3 dollars maximum, 3 to 4 dollars. This IC will cost around 2 dollars and the whole components, other components will, will be costing 2 dollars itself. So, you can get this full PCB ready in 4 dollar or in 150 or 200 indian rupees so that's why you need it if you make any mistake if the components get damaged it will be it will not be that hard to change it because it is through whole components and you can desolder it and take out the component and put a new component there in arduino you don't you can't change anything except the ic itself so this is more convenient and easy to use efficient fast and reliable also you can modify your own PCB just like I said you can add a 3.3 volt regulator also you can add a variable voltage regulator by a LM317 I say whatever you want you can do it with it now it's time to check the PCB whether it is correctly made or not so I've made this adapter kind of thing that will be connected to 9 volt battery and let me power the board now Now you can see the power LED is on and the pin 13 LED is blinking really fast that is the 100 millisecond on time and 100 millisecond of off time just like I have programmed previously. You can compare both the breadboard version and the PC version side by side. I used the same IC and the same crystal oscillator so the timing will be completely same for this PCB and the breadboard version. Thanks for watching this video. In next video, I'll be telling how to program this IC on this board itself with the USB ASP converter or a different Arduino Uno. So stay tuned for those videos and hit like if you watch this video till now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It helps a lot. And don't forget to share this video with your friends who need this and who have to complete the project in a budget. So this will be very helpful for those. And again, thanks for watching. See you in our next video. Till then, take care and bye.